Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for November. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus signs. Keep in mind the timing is fluid so it could resonate at any time. So what do we have for Sagittarius for November? The chariot reversed, so this is being stopped. There could be a lack of discipline or a lack of willpower. You may need to find your willpower to take control of a situation. When the chariot is in reverse, somebody's not uh, mastering their emotions well. They're not. There may be fear in the way. Uh, you may be stuck. You know, if you're stuck, you the only one that can change it is you. You have to get in the driver's seat to make changes. You can't let somebody else drive. You need to be the driver. You need to take control. So we have somebody here that may be sitting in the passenger seat when they should be in the driver's seat. You know, you have to get in the driver's seat. When you see the chariot in reverse, this is somebody that has lost their direction. This is a loss of will. You, you have the strength within you. You just have to find it. Eight of Wands, you're definitely blocking your own success. This is a blockage and this is a blockage. And if the minute you point your finger at somebody else, that's a problem. So don't be saying, oh no, they're doing it to me. No, 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 no. That's victim mentality. So don't point, be pointing the finger and blaming it on your ex or your boyfriend or anybody. Because you have... The skills within you to be successful. Every single person does. Placing blame, and I'm not saying you are, but from what I can see, it's like a, this is a blockage. Both of these cards reverse is a blockage. And I don't want to hear one thing about reversals either. And you know that I love Sagittarius. There's an absence of success because somebody is not finding their willpower and their discipline to change their direction. And if you don't have that willpower and discipline to change your direction, then you are stuck. Nobody is going to change it for you. Placing blame will do nothing, no good at all. Three of Swords reversed and the King of Swords reversed. Um, <laughs> this is cold. This is very cold. Need to forgive. This is a cold energy. Very cold hearted. Very unfeeling. Um, not thinking clearly. Uh, holding on to pain. It's time to heal from pain. It's time to let the past hurts go. Leave the past behind. Forgive. You don't have to forget, but maybe you need to forgive. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This person may be abusive towards you. You may be dealing with somebody that is abusive. And you're just staying there. You're not doing anything. Maybe you're waiting for somebody else to rescue you when you really have to rescue yourself. Feels as though you are dealing with some sort of pain, though, some sort of hurt. Pro you know, I feel like there's another person that is degrading you. And you may feel like, you know, they're trying to block your success. But like I said, you can't point the finger at them because you can change your circumstances at any time. You can. There is somebody that is abusive, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. This is an abusive individual. You have a choice. Yes, it's your choice. You have a choice. You can choose to stay where you're at or you can choose to move forward. You can choose another option. This is an unexpected choice in love. An unexpected opportunity to go someplace else, really, with a lover's card. This is a decision. 
that you have to be made that you have to make this is also a card of consequences there's consequences for the path that you choose there's consequences for staying or not or or going somebody is staying put in a situation when it's like they know they have a better option but we have somebody here that's just not finding the discipline this is not finding the discipline now, the Judgment card is a card of awakening. This is a wake-up call. This is an epiphany. Seven of Swords reversed. Now, this is, this is the truth coming out, and this is the truth. Some sort of truth is going, and this is the truth as well. Some sort of secret or truth is, is going to come out or be revealed. Whatever this truth is, it has to do with somebody that is not on your side. Put it that way. There's somebody that is not on your side that you are dealing with. Now, this is the Ten of Wands. This is dropping weight. Dropping, a, dropping a, a heavy weight. Making a conscious change to break free from something. This is waking up and deciding to drop something that, that has been hurting you or has been a lie. There's been a lot of deception. This is releasing a heavy burden. You're about to release something, or, or you need to, because judgment is a card of release. It's a card of, of rising above some sort of deception. This is an awakening, letting go of this burden, dropping it, and going towards happiness. This is happiness, Ten of Cups. This is the end of... of Holding on to something very heavy. It's over. Something, because we have these two tens. One's upright, one is reversed. You are headed towards a more happier situation. This is a happy family. A good, re happy relationship. Eight of Cups reverse, thinking about walking away or thinking about coming back with that Seven of Swords, thinking about something. Somebody is thinking about leaving a deceptive situation. There could have been cheating going on, definitely lies. Somebody was fighting an uphill battle, but I feel like they're they're just letting it go. I'm not going to fight this battle anymore. I, they've been thinking about leaving for a really, 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 really long time. But now there's some sort of judgment being made. Okay, there's a judgment call here. Somebody is making a... It's a, it's a it's, I feel like it's a final decision to just go after happiness. There's another option here. Somebody is realizing that there's another option. They made some poor choice in the past, but now they're just, it's like, they're, this is a realization. Somebody is realizing that they have another option. King of Pentacles reversed. Now, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It feels as though we have somebody here that... I don't know if it's a family member. It could be a father. It could be a sibling. It feels like we have somebody in your dynamic that isn't a good person. This person isn't a good person. This person um, doesn't care who they hurt. This person has one agenda and one agenda only. And it's not about love. It's about control. It's about power. It's about money. It's about um, everything but... Love, put it that way. 
I don't know if you're dealing with an earth sign. Be careful. Be careful. I wonder if this person is going to come, has already left your life and they're trying to come back. This person may have been telling lies about you or they may have been against you. I, I don't know if you have a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Scorpio. It's like you have somebody here that is causing problems for you. And that's funny that I said don't point the finger. I can see that you do have at least one or even two people that are against you. And it's hard not to place blame when, when people are, when you're gained up upon, because it feels like that's what this is. So I feel like you have an option to escape from this scenario, but you're not doing it. There's something you need to do to escape. Nobody's going to do it for you. You have another choice. You have another option, but you're, you're not making the effort to, to seek it, to go after it. It's like you're not, you're not finding the ambition and the drive to, Find the success that you need. It's like you're just letting it happen. You're allowing it. I feel as though um, if you would just see that you have a better option and if you could find your discipline to take action and go down that new road that, that may be a little scary where you have someplace you've never been, if you could find your discipline to do that, you would you would run into happiness really fast. You definitely have a, one or two people here that are bu that are abusive. You are dealing with somebody that is abusive. And it's like they're holding you back. They are holding you back, but you are definitely allowing them. Allowing it. You are allowing it. Um, they're jealous. They, they're jealous. You've got somebody who is jealous. One or two people that is jealous of... Maybe they're jealous of your uh, divine connection. Whatever that is. I think you do have a divine connection. I think that you have been hurt really, really badly by somebody. And you're going to need to find that inner strength to get yourself out of this situation. And it's not going to be easy. Life isn't easy. And I think that's part of, one of the reasons you are where you're at. Is because, you know, you've got to find the strength to, to get in the driver's seat and change things. I do see that you guys are going to be making conscious changes with the Ten of Wands reversed. It's you've been fighting an uphill battle, but I think you're you're that it is about to change. I feel as though you've been in a very dissatisfying situation where there was definitely lacking in the emotional fulfillment department. And I feel like you, you may feel at a loss. You may feel like you're never gonna be loved or you're that um your dreams are never going to come true, but that's just a fear, okay? You do have somebody else here that you could work with that is perfectly meant for you, but you have to open your eyes, and that judgment card is open your eyes. Wake up. That's wake up. Wake up call. Wake up call. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. You have another option, and you're, and you're not seeing it. If you If you choose not to see it, well, then you choose not to see it, but I feel as though... Um, with the Seven of Cups, you 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 are, you may be going through a period of confusion. You probably know that you have another option for happiness, but you know it's hard to step outside of your comfort zone, and it feels like that's the biggest problem here is you're comfortable and and but it's uncomfortable. You know it's a it's a uncomfortable comfortable, and but the only one that can change it is you. Um, this is a need for love, wanting love. Uh, a need to open up, a need to be more playful. I feel as though um, you guys are feeling lonely. Even if you are with somebody, there's loneliness here. And there's a need to, you know, explore a little bit. Um, I feel like you are going to be receiving a message from somebody. Um, A welcome message of love. This could this could lead to a new partnership. This is somebody that you don't expect. This is okay because when we get the lovers card and the two of cups and the page of cups. Okay, this is an unexpected choice in love. Now you got to choose between two people. Okay, you got to choose between two people. Um, this happens all of a sudden. Um. You're going to have to make a choice this month. You have an opportunity to come together with somebody. If this isn't love related, this may not be a relationship related. It could be. 
this could be family related where you have to take a side. You may have to take a side, you know, and you have to choose based on your heart. Okay. What is the best thing for everybody involved? Because it feels as though you were, you may be in the middle of some sort of, uh, a family situation, which is interesting. Anyhow, um, I think that there is probably going, there has been a blockage of some sort. There's been a blockage. There's been a lot of unhappiness. Somebody has been fighting an uphill battle. There's going to be some sort of reconciliation. I don't know how you are involved. There's going to be some sort of reconciliation or with the with the judgment card. That is a card of reconciliation. This could be with soulmates. I don't know if you are that soulmate or you or if you are on the outside looking in. There's going to be a reconciliation between soulmates. I mean, it could be somebody that you know that you are directly connected to. Um, there's going to be a reconciliation of soulmates. And I feel like you are in this party somehow. Um, two people are coming together. And either you are going to be directly involved or you are going to be one of these people. Um... There's been some sort of midlife crisis. You may have felt like you were in crisis mode. I think that if that is the case, that, you know, this pain is going to start to dissipate. It is because this is three of swords is reversed. That is this healing, healing. So you will, you will be able to heal from this. Rest assured, you will be able to heal from this. Um, there is a new union coming together. Absolutely. Whether, like I said, for some reason, I feel this could even have to do with a child. There could be a, a reunion with a child. Um, I feel as though there's definitely a welcome offer of love coming in or it's directly connected to you. Um, You may be uh, celebrating uh, something with somebody. You may even be going out on a date with somebody. Um, getting to know somebody. I see you making a choice on somebody else's behalf. Oh, however that resonates. I don't think I've ever said that. A choice between two people. You're going to be making a choice between two people. I see you out uh, having dinner with somebody. If you have been lonely for quite some time, you may you may make a new friend. And it could develop into something more. So, Sagittarius, there's an opportunity here to get into a relationship with somebody that you don't expect. I know that is what this is. But I see choosing another option is very prominent here. It's like you choose another option. You you do. You, you have to get out of something and choose another option. That's what I see. I mean, that is what I see. It's like you choose another option. Somebody was dealing with a miserable individual who was lying and deceiving and controlling. This person had a big ego. But it's like now, it's it's like now you see, it's like you wake up, you get some sort of awakening because that is the judgment card. This is also a card of karma. 
Maybe somebody gets their karma. Somebody in your circle is going to get karma for their misdeeds, their lies. That's the seven of swords right there. And this is karma. Somebody get could get caught if they've been lying. They've been mistreating. They've been lying about the whole situation. And there was nothing you could do about it. They could get caught. Okay, some sort of truth or secret is going to be revealed about this person that has nothing good in store. We have somebody here that is not really a good person and they have been lying and it like it's like here comes the truth. And in some way this truth coming out is going to benefit you. Which is interesting. Anyhow, one card for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius may be getting into some sort of partnership or union. They could be getting out of one so that they can become free for one because the Ten of Wands is dropping something. Hmm. Hope. Your loved ones in the spirit worlds know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. So you, you are definitely caught up in a situation. For some of you, this could be in, you, you're, it's like you're, you're in the middle. Like It's funny that I said that you may be in the middle of something and you may be worried about it. But whatever this is, I feel like there is some sort of reunion. And I think that you will be pleasantly surprised with the outcome. But during this whole uh, hoorah, you know, it's uncomfortable. And you may feel like you're powerless. But you can, you can contribute if you find the willpower, if you find the discipline to do what you need to do. And be honest. Be honest. Uh, don't just let people run over you. Okay? Don't let people run over you. Um... There's been some sort of abuse here. Mental. Maybe even physical. Mental, verbal abuse. Which has caused you to feel very, very down and alone. But it's like there's there, you have somebody here that's probably going to be communicating with you that can, you know, <laughs> liven you up a little bit. Bring you back. So... When this person comes in and they start communicating with you, give them a chance. Now, I have to I have to show you what's on the bottom. This is Three of Swords. Is reverse is a card of forgiveness. And Judgment is a card of forgiveness. Because you think about Judgment Day, you go up there and you ask for forgiveness. Forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The art or the act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform. You need to forgive. And I don't know who it is that you need to forgive. Maybe it's yourself. Maybe it's somebody, maybe it's your father from your childhood. You can't hold on to resentment that'll just make you angry for the rest of your life. And it's funny, didn't I say at the beginning you can forgive, but you don't have to forget? I can't remember because it's gone now what I said at the beginning, but I think I did. Forgiveness is key here. Don't hold on to that anger and resentment. Start over. Start over. That built your character. Whatever happened to built your character. You don't need to repeat the cycle. Anyway, good luck.